and on we go like the lone warrior let's continue our model let's go ahead and connect things up here I'm going to briefly grab my polygons right in the middle here and I'm going to extrude them just like that they don't have to be perfect because you're not going to be in close on this and let's run a loop slice up it like so now we subdivide it everything looks okay okay let's see where was we at let's go back to our seat there's our seat right there this is our see, this is what you get for not naming stuff okay so now here we go here's our seat let's go ahead and connect the bottom throw back to polygon mode let's go ahead and pull out our connector no I'm not gonna connect it down there you know what I'm gonna connect it up top that way it swivels right so let's go in here let's get up close let's get a new mesh item let's get a cylinder turn back on our glass so we can see and let's draw a cylinder about right here not a very big one maybe about 70 millimeters by 70 millimeters let's bring it forward We'll bring it up as you can see that's way too big so let's bring it down to maybe 20 millimeters about 20 millimeters now that looks a lot better let's bring it up I still think that's a little big so we'll make it 15 by 15 now let's make it 10 and we can always make it bigger later there we go let's bring it in here and let's bring it out like so okay let's take it back in here until it touches like that let's the space bar drop the tool we'll zoom in here grab this little end polygon and we'll extrude it out bring it down right into our little glass there like so okay let's go ahead and try to mirror that over and see what happens put the mirror it in the Z oops And there's that, so let's bring it down. Like so. And back. There. Now we have our little swivels there that will hold our glass up top. okay now all we need to do is I'm gonna put let's see now I'm gonna leave it about like that that's enough that's good enough so now we just put on our little attachments there and let's go ahead and extrude this up so we'll have a place to put our display and we'll loop, loop slice it we're just gonna make one display 
So let's select that polygon. Let's align our work plane. And let's build a square cube. Like so. Good size display for him. We'll stick it in here. We'll bring it out. And we'll select this front face. And we'll bevel it, of course. Bring it on in. Maybe a little more. Let's shift click. And let's take it back, of course. Don't want to take it too far. Okay, now let's select it. Move it forward a little bit. Now we have our display in there. Now, I'm not going to take the time to go in here and mesh slice this all up. I can do that off camera. I can lay a couple in. But I don't want to take too much time. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and move it back. And there we go. We got our display in there and our seat. Our cockpit is attached, so that swivels. And in our next video, we'll make the gun. And just in case you're wondering down here what this stuff is, I've put in there that you didn't see. I've just stuck a hydraulic you know, uh, actuator in a hydraulic lift there to help with the legs, and I just put a little cable. That's all that is. That's no big deal. That's just something extra I put in. So you don't have to do that. So see you next time, guys.